This is Boris Johnson in a bath of beans. Or is it? No, though it wouldn't be the silliest thing he's done. It's actually an AI program that attempts to draw whatever you want it to. Look, here are some valleys. And here are some mountains. And they're not mountains, if you look a little closer then you'll see they're merely abstract depictions of mountains. Almost like a dream. I tried to read a newspaper in a dream once, the words kept changing every time I read them. So here are some newspapers, drawn by AI. This is all trained on existing images found online, but you won't find these images anywhere, because these are all new and freshly generated just for you. And it's scary how flexible and capable it is. Like I said, Boris Johnson in a bath of beans. Let's experiment. What if I wanted Boris Johnson hugging Donald Trump? Uncanny resemblance, isn't it? The AI really struggles with faces. I think it's because we're good at recognising faces. But I've got to say, it gets their hair spot on every time. Not sure who this third little guy's meant to be though. Stop this video here and try to draw a bike. And smash the subscribe button. You'll find it surprisingly hard to remember what bikes look like and where all of the rods and joints go. And telling the AI to try and draw it, it encounters the same problems. They're recognisable as bikes, but often with a key feature missing, like a central support or pedals. And I guess this is what creeps me out about this kind of thing. Yes, AI makes mistakes, but they're the same sort of mistakes as we humans make when thinking up images in our minds, and it can take a moment for us to register what exactly is wrong with an AI-generated image. It fools us at a glance. Especially this one, because I don't think many of us are familiar with this sort of landscape. I swear this AI has a sense of humour. Here is a big slug. I'm unsure how it's different to other types of slugs, but they look pretty big so I'll give it that. But what if I wanted to draw a pineapple that's bigger than a car? It just gives me a load of pineapples, with nothing to compare their size to. Job done. I wanted pictures of deadly cakes, imagining lots of spikes and stuff, but it just gave me pictures of cakes. They're probably deadly, I just wouldn't know, which in a way makes them more deadly. I got it to draw men parachuting off the Cornish coastline, and it ignored the coastline and showed generic parachuting pictures. I wanted Smaug in a cave full of Beanie Babies, so it gave me Smaug as a Beanie Baby. I typed in 3 clicks Philip meeting 2 clicks Philip and it focused on the word meeting. It's like a monkey paw trying to ruin what you want from it in some unexpected way. A tank with only one wheel shows the one wheel and nothing else. A duck with a sad green face is apparently just a duck. Here is the Matrix. You know it's the Matrix the moment you glance at it, it's just the longer you stare at it, the more problems you see with it. Again, the faces. But type in eyeball and it generates lots of convincing eyeballs, and face comes up with some half decent, half terrifying faces. I like scary things, so I typed scary selfie and got some really scary selfies. Here's a spooky skeleton. I also typed in zombie and it's clear that this has been trained on plants versus zombies, resulting in lots of cartoonish looking zombies. Disappointing. A child with a really, really long nose slipped into the uncanny valley, and a face hugger on a cat was scarier than I expected, and also sadder. Let's get more abstract. Sad came up with sad faces, all grey and drab and quite creepy looking, but happy comes up with happy emojis. This is what the internet thinks the human race sees as happy. Music comes up with notes. YouTube comes up with weird symbols. Apology got really abstract, borrowing a thing or two from Microsoft Office's old clip art that you used to slip into your school projects. Dream got a bit creepy. Are these faces? Beds? The sky? And nostalgia comes up with old electronic equipment, echoing the sort of stuff people nostalgic on the internet show as being nostalgic. Note the colour palette too, very warm. I typed in hell and got some generic, cartoony looking fiery landscapes. Google Whack came up with random landscapes and a person. And then I gave it Ligma and it fired back with pictures of older women, unrelated to any Google search of the term Ligma. Here is what it thinks Rome looks like. Here is the real life small Cornish fishing village of Mevagizzi. And this is what the AI thinks Mevagizzi looks like. Not bad. You can chop and change. You can get it to display the city of Sydney, but with northern lights. Here's a snowy pyramid. Burning asbestos. Superman knitting made a knitted Superman. I'm not even mad. It thinks a nuclear meltdown is a cooling tower with a nuclear bomb exploding inside of it. I think the AI gets better the more specific you want it to be. Like Boris Johnson in a bath of beans. Tsunami city. Or lots of bananas dangling from a skyscraper. Or a man hugging a cactus. Or a dog driving a tractor. A man with feathers growing out of his ears. A child punching a porcupine. A child stuck in a bottle. I tried to trick it with some really specific stuff like flowers growing out of a wall next to a post box. But it did it and it delivered a beautiful result. Here are lakes with pine trees and mountain and pink boat. 
again an excellent result, and a duck in a pond surrounded by park with a cactus on a rock. How could it possibly do this? Once again, surprisingly well. Nice try AI. Rabbit ear car crane fire apple story was very abstract, but again I think it pulled it off, at least to some extent, doesn't show all of the elements but it shows a good number. And what about a man peeing through a window of a moving train? And I love the awkward urgency depicted in these pictures. But don't try this at home kids, or on trains. You could get an electric shock. In fact, while we're talking about this, don't try any of these pictures at home. Don't punch porcupines and don't hug cacti. Here is a mouldy sandwich being eaten by a coal miner wearing a bra, and a monk looking seriously at Jelly. It fascinated me to see what other people searched for as well. One of my friends generated lots of images of famous people doing weird stuff. Willy Wonka eating spaghetti, Bill Gates eating apple, Einstein smoking weed, Boris Johnson in a bath full of baked beans. This is the Queen celebrating her 200th birthday, Gordon Freeman on a trampoline, Jim Carrey hiding in a bush, Lara Croft grating cheese, lightning striking Flash Gordon, Quentin Tarantino baked into a baguette, Sean Connery seducing Roger Moore, Gordon Ramsay tickling Billy Piper, stepsister stuck in washing machine. Another one of my friends was fascinated by older games. Spyro meeting Mario, Morrowind RTX on, PS1 Hagrid at McDonald's, PS1 Hagrid Helm's Deep, Among Us in God of War, Among Us in Tomb Raider, Among Us in Crisis, Crisis for the Atari 2600, GTA 6, Muscular Lisa Sue holding a really big AMD processor, that one's for you AMD, Zelda Ray Traced. So if you guys have wondered who's been hogging the bandwidth on this site today, I'm sorry it might have been me. But look, it's Donald Trump in a bath of beans. <laughs>